demonstrate knitting a square, which is an easy thing to do. Normally you just cast on, knit, bind off. We're actually going to start the square in the center and knit out and it ends up being a great lesson in increases and right angles and how those things work in a raglan sweater and mitered squares and everything else. I think it's really interesting. Let's go and take a look at what I'm talking about. Here is a little square that I've knit up right from the center. We're going to cast on very few stitches and then increase at these four corners, increase twice uh, on either side of this of the markers there or the the DPNs there every other round or you can increase once every round I suppose to get these right angles and it's just so cool I love knitting shapes I think it's the I mean we're actually making the fabric and so I think it's so cool but if you have uh, you make a square like this you can make something you know small like this like a coaster you can make a dishcloth you can make a baby blanket a full-size afghan once you know the technique you can just keep going and going <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get started. We are going to use the pinhole cast on and this cast on isn't the easiest cast on in the world if you haven't done it before but I'm going to give you a link if you click the little eye in the upper right hand corner to my slow motion video for this cast on. But I'll, I'll talk uh, through this uh, but it is easier to learn in slow motion. The tail end of the yarn is in my right hand. I'm going to wrap it around these fingers like this take a double pointed needle and all the action is on this strand right here. I'm going to yarn over, go under everything and grab that and pull it up. I've cast on two. Yarn over, go under everything and grab that same strand. I've cast on four. Yarn over, go under everything and pull that strand up. Six, yarn over, go under everything and pull that string up, eight. You pull your fingers out of there and then pull the tail end and boop, everything tightens up so nicely. Our, our working yarn is over here on this stitch. That's going to be the first stitch we knit. Slide everything to the other end of the needle and slip four stitches over to that first needle. It's easier to, um, and then put two on the other two needles. It's easier to just knit with three needles at first. We can switch to four when we get a few stitches going. So uh, we want to flip everything over. I like to drop the tail down and the working yarn up. And my first stitch is here, the needle with four on it. First thing I'm going to do is knit around these four stitches. Or knit around these eight stitches. And when you're working on double pointed needles, the next stitch is always to the left of where your working yarn is. Give it a little turn. Next stitch is to the left of the working yarn. Okay, I'm at the beginning of the round and I know I am because it's the stitch with the four needles. Now I'm going to start increasing and I'm going to increase um, at the beginning. Well, let me show you. I'm going to increase actually every stitch this time and I'm going to do a knit front back increase. Let me slow that down. Knit it normally. Don't slip that stitch off the left needle. Flip your right needle around the back loop of that stitch. Knit it and pull it through. We're doubling the number of stitches on this round. Now I'm using a KFB increase. You can use any one stitch increase. You can use yarn overs, you can use make ones. Do 
you know, something I forgot to mention, the written instructions for this are in the video description field, just below the video, and on my website. And if you click the little eye in the upper right hand corner, that'll take you to my website. Okay. Actually, let me knit one more round, which is a plain knit round. We're alternating plain knit rounds with the increase rounds. And I want to switch. I'm going to throw another needle in there. You see, it's kind of like wind chimes now. It was easier to start with just three, but now it's okay. Okay few things I want to talk about now. First, the pinhole cast on will start to uh, loosen up. All you have to do is pull the tail and look at that tightens everything up again. Next, I have enough fabric here now and there's my, um, here's my working yarn. I can put a little clippy marker in right here so that when I'm working around and I get to the gap between these two needles, I know that's the beginning of my round because I want to alternate um, increase rounds with plain knitting rounds. So I do want to remember where I am at the beginning of my round. And then the last thing I want to do is talk about how the increases are going to go because we're, we're increasing basically at the, at the gaps between the needles here, at, at each one of the gaps between the needles. We are going to start with a KFB knit across all the stitches on the needle, end with a KFB, start with a KFB, knit across the stitches on the needle, end with a KFB. And that's the technique and that's what gives us these awesome um, lines, these right angle lines, and gives us a square in the end. And that's really it. That's all you need to know. You have to just have enough yarn and a big enough circular needle. You can knit this, this in any size. It'll just keep going and going. Your angles will stay perfectly the whole time. Again, if you want to see the written instructions for this, just look in the video description field or click the eye to go to my website where you can um, see the exact written instructions. It's the same thing over and over. Um, but I will warn you that once you get to like a baby blanket or bigger size, you do need long circular needles and you will need a lot of yarn just to finish one round because it does get to be a lot. Anyway, I think it's really fun knitting. I hope this helps. Good luck.